In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an integration procedure loop to make multiple decision matrix calls and add the output to a variable. So I'll show you what I've got set up. This is my Omni script with a number of different questions. So we've got six questions here. We then call an integration procedure and then we display the results in another step here. So each of these questions here are connected to a pick list field. And over here, I've got my decision matrix that I set up using a CSV. So each of my questions has got a category and then there's a response. This is the API name of the field. And then there is a corresponding rating. So DB0 all the way up to DB3, this is one question. So all fitting under anxiety. And then there is the separate rating there that needs to get sent back. So coming in here again, um, as I preview this and select a response, we can see that this particular one is sending back WD0 um, and there's no category that's been defined uh, yet. So um, I'll just demonstrate what happens. So we'll just come through and select a response for each one. And then click on next. And I can see that a total of three has been sent back for depression, four for anxiety and one for stress. And if I click on my action debugger, I've got my integration procedure here that ran. Uh, these are from previous iterations. I can see my request data that was sent through, which is an array. And then I've got my response that was sent back there as well. So how do we go about setting this up? So first things first, I'll show you my integration procedure. So it's actually quite a small one. Um, so over here, we've got a loop uh, group over here or loop block. And the loop list is called responses. And this is what we send through from the Omniscript form. And then within that, we've got a decision matrix and we are sending the array name, which is responses and then category. We also sending response. And then we are doing a filter value on category and response. So these should match up to our category and response over there. Then underneath that, we've got this set value step, which is set anxiety. And I put in an execution conditional formula. So I only want this step to run when the category from the form is equal to anxiety. And the same goes for depression and stress over there. And then the actual step itself, what it's doing, it's got an element name of stress total rating. And then we are going to add in what is already existing for the stress rating and then add in the new rating. And that rating over there is this column here. So to set that up, as I said before, I've got stress total rating and this is equal to stress rating, which is the response transformation done here. So we've got our JSON path and we've got our JSON node, which is stress rating. So we want this to be equal to the stress rating plus the new rating, and then that will sit there in that variable. And it will finally return to the screen as the stress rating. And if I go back into my form and just click on to design, we'll go back to the final um, page here, or final step. You can see I've got this depression rating, anxiety rating, stress rating, and that marries up with the uh, response JSON node there. So the integration procedure itself is actually quite small. Um, if we go back into the Omni script and click onto the integration procedure action, this is where it is a little bit more complex. So I've got in my integration procedure over here. And if I expand remote properties and scroll down, you can see for my extra payload, I've set up an array. And to do this, we scroll down and we click on edit properties as JSON and we find the extra payload section. So before anything else is put in there, it'll just have extra payload with the open and close brackets and nothing else. So to send my array, I've gone ahead and I've typed in the word responses. So this is your array name. Um, and coming back in here and clicking onto the responses loop, that's that name there. So it needs to be the same. 
And then I've just gone ahead and I've opened up my square brackets and I've defined my array. So I'm sending in category, which is stress. So I just type this one in. I know that question one, the category is stress and my response is wind down. So scrolling back up and clicking onto this particular question, we can see there that this name is wind down. And then the second one will be dryness of mouth. So scrolling back down, clicking on edit properties as JSON, dryness of mouth comes in there. And then I'm just manually defining the category there for that one. And so I've repeated all of those for all of the questions just by typing them in, or you might find it easy to type it somewhere else and then copy and paste that in there. And then just finally looking at that integration procedure again. Um, so if I go back into my um, set anxiety there, uh, I have noted that we have prefixed that with the array name, which is responses. So just to demonstrate one final time how this all works together, We'll come up to preview, click on a question, and we can see that those are all coming in there. Click on next, and that integration procedure has sent back our total depression rating, anxiety rating, and stress rating. And then this last rating is just the last one that happened to go through in that loop, um, but we aren't using it in here. So that's how you use loops in integration procedures and in particular how to call a decision matrix multiple times.